I wanted to do a follow-up video on the Ubiquiti NVR appliance and that slick web interface I was talking about. I have one of the AirVision boxes here that I dug out. It's a little older, but the Unify video likely works the same. Uh, I looked at the screen after it booted and got the IP, so let's take a look at that web interface. And this is one thing that comes with the Ubiquity appliance is you can come to this landing page and you can either go then to the AirVision controller or if you've upgraded it would be the Unify video controller or you can actually go into the device configuration. This is that interface that I was telling you about. So if we click this, it's going to ask for that default credential. So we'll put in root and UBNT and it wants us to change that root password. We're going to go ahead and keep it UBNT and it thinks we changed it. And here you can look at the hard drive space, you can come in, you can change the device name, the time zone, the IP address, change the password, reboot the device, power it off, or even reset it to factory defaults. We're going to go ahead and log out of this. Now, alternatively, you can SSH into this device, and I will show you that real quick. And you can see that we are logged in and if we issue the PASSWD command, it will ask us to enter a new password. And that's it. Once again, if you haven't been over to the Ubiquity community, the website is community.ubnt.com. It's a great group of people. Thanks for stopping by and come back for the next video.